Rose. Today I am in one of my bathrooms. You've seen this bathroom before because I gave you a how to clean your tiles um, as well as the toilet. But today I want to be sharing with you how to deep clean your shower um, with using only one product. Okay, um, so this product you actually can clean your shower, deep clean your shower um, to prevent mold as well as remove any mold if you have any. Um, you can actually do it two ways, but this is my favorite way. Um, most people don't like this way, but it's the easiest way um, to clean as well as remove and prevent mold um, from your shower. Okay, um, so one thing, um, if you do not like this method, the quickest method, if you do not like this method, but you want to use this method, what we're going to do now, what I always do is I always wear gloves, no matter what I'm doing, if I clean the toilet or whatever, <coughs> I always wear gloves. Okay, now if you're extra sensitive to this product that I'm about to share with you that you can only you can use let it sit and move away come back you ha you haven't done anything now this is if you you keep up your you know bathroom for the most for the most part right so this product is bleach you can get the generic bleach or you can get the Clorox bleach bleach is going it's going to take care of it Bleach is going to do what bleach does. It's going to disinfect, it's going to clean, and it's going to remove any hard stains from your tile and from your bathroom, okay? So first thing I would like for you to do before using bleach, if you're extra sensitive, but even if you're not sensitive, see this bathroom, the, this, the smaller bathrooms that um, in my home, um, it doesn't have any windows. So, um, okay, so it doesn't have any windows. Now, if your bathroom has windows, open it up a little bit, if you're able to, if you, if you don't think anything's gonna come in there or anything or anyone, open it up a little, okay? Get a little air circulating. Now, if you don't like this particular bathroom in my home, doesn't. I don't know why I just like to use this bathroom when I'm video, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one day I'll let you walk around with me, but so this, I just figured this is the bathroom. Okay, so first thing you should do if you're extra sensitive, but the, um, again, for me, I do wear gloves. If I need to wear a mask, that's fine. But um, if you're extra sensitive, you can wear those little, everything you can get is from the Dollar Tree. You can get the little um, goggles, um, a mask, since masks are in right now anyway. Um, gloves of course i think everyone should use that um you can use like a little apron you know just to keep um any bleach from when you spray from getting on your clothes or you shouldn't wear nice clothes either way unless you're an expert like me i'm just playing but you shouldn't wear nice clothes either way because it could bleach your bleach your outfit okay so so first thing you should do before um um, attacking your bathroom or your shower put on cleaning clothes okay um, then put on your um, protective gear your goggles your mask gloves and an apron or if you want to put like something over your um, hair or whatever that's totally up to you okay now let's get to the bathroom so first thing you do pull everything out your bathroom because bleach it's, it's, it's going to get to work. It's not going to play no games. Bleach is going to work. It's not lazy. It's going to attack whatever you put it on. Whatever you put bleach on, it's going to attack. So just remove like shower curtains. This is a fabric shower curtain. Remove it. R remove any like items out of the shower so you can make sure you get in every area because you know you don't want to deep clean every day using bleach. You know this is probably what once a week or twice twice a month type of thing depending on your bathroom but you know like myself i clean up i clean up daily it's because i'm married with four children 
it's, it's really no choice but to do that. Now, for people that just live by themselves, you probably don't have to do all that. You probably like, do it probably once a week or so, but you still should do it. Okay. So remove everything out of the shower, even the bathroom. And then what you do, take some bleach. Um, I do have Clorox cleanup, but that's just more like a bleach and cleaner, which is awesome. Let me just say Clorox cleanup, it's up there. It's up there, it's top tier. Okay, but this in this case, just take a regular, um, some, big jug of Clorox or generic anything from Dollar Tree and but I have Clorox um, I do have Dollar Tree bleach as well because I really don't see no difference but again my bathrooms don't get so gross so anyway so gross so what you do pour your bleach in a spray bottle okay so what we shouldn't do ever is mix bleach with other products now Unless you know what you're doing. Bleach and ammonia should never be mixed. That's a no-no. Please don't do that. But I have bleach and then went back down with some pine saw. But that just to do is remove everything out your shop. This shirt is so big, I'm just trying to do different things with y'all, but it's not about this shirt. Okay, so first thing you should do, remove everything out your shower, especially and spray from top to bottom. Don't miss an area, even hit the tub. Now what you shouldn't spray with bleach is like your chrome, like your, the faucets, your showers, things like that. Leave that alone. You know, the, I can show you ways to clean that and it looks brand new. But right now, I'm gonna stay focused and talk about one thing because I've noticed in my comment section, sometimes y'all don't like when I give a little extra, okay? Some do, shout out to y'all. But anyway, so um, bleach everything from top to bottom. Um, again, we've already removed everything. We, are, we have on our personal protective equipment. So what we do after we bleach everything top to block, bottom, we just let it sit. You let it sit for an hour or hours or 30 minutes. So what I do usually, let it sit, go to Walmart, Kroger. By the time I get back from shopping, it, it's ready. So with doing a deep clean in your shower and you just bleached it, all you do is hose it down with hot water. Now, if you have like trouble areas, you can get a little scrub, like a sponge with a little scrub, um, the little scratchy part in the back, do that. But most part, if you do that and let it sit, your bathroom is clean. So, but I'm extra, I, I'm not gonna tell any stories. So what I do, I come, I scratch it with the, the, the um, sponge, or you can hose it down. I do do the um, sponge, it's because I'm just extra. Y'all don't have to do it, it's not required. Um, again, unless you just have a, um, a dirty bathroom, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so do that, spray it down, and then if you wanna go back over with some pine saw, Mm, okay, and then after you do that, no, no, I'm sorry. So, but well, we just doing a shower. Well, just, I'm going to give you my routine. So, I spray it down, go to the store, come back. And what I do before I hit the shower is to do the toilets, the sink. Um, then, I do the shower. Either you can spray it down just hot water or you can wet a sponge, put a little cleaner on it, wet it, I mean, scratch it down, well, wipe it down, not scratch. Wipe it down, then wipe it down with some hot water. This is what I do, but it, that, you don't have to do that. Um, and then mop, mop should be last, okay? So this is a fast, easy way to deep clean your shower um, without a lot of, you know, the, um, wiping down or whatnot. But again, I do it just because um, extra you, it's not required unless you just have a dirty bathroom but I do it not because I have a dirty bathroom because my bathroom is not dirty um, but um, I just do it because I just feel I don't know maybe I need help I don't know so yes so try these tips trust me you will thank me again thank you for stopping by my channel